hey people of social media i have a question for you all and that is what is the top of your price range that you're willing to spend on an item so for me i kind of think about it in terms of my wardrobe and beauty products so those are the categories that have had problems with overspending being influenced over consumption in the past and the reason i'm doing a no buy year for all of 2024. so i shared about the jizu lip oil yesterday and how it's 32 dollars and how that makes it really really easy to not buy it and not even want it anymore because it's out of the realms of what i would consider reasonable for that kind of product Likewise, with designer prices, $1,500 for shoes, over $10,000 for a bag. Uh, these are Chanel, and it's not even on my radar. Um, designer names that are this big um, are kind of not really for me anyway, for various other reasons. But at these price levels, I'm not even tempted to want these items. And it's really, really easy to not want to buy. Even Louis Vuittons here, at a slightly lower price point, are still more than I'd be willing to spend. I've shared on here before that I would never spend more than 500 for a bag or any other item in my wardrobe. And obviously these are thousands of dollars. These particular ones might be objectively ugly to you, but the point here is that these being out of my price range makes it super easy to not want them and therefore not buy them. I know everybody's got a different price threshold. I've already had a comment about how somebody would not pay more than $40 for a bag and therefore the Polen price range, $400 to $500, uh, my favorite handbag brand, is totally outrageous. And I'm so curious to hear from others, especially on this app, what are your acceptable price ranges? Um, <laughs> it's so easy to see all the influencers with their designer, multiple designer bags, uh, multiple beauty products that are, you know, 50 to $100 or anywhere in between. And it's just so interesting. I, I don't know if my price range could ever increase to this threshold. Um, I think doing a no buy year is going to help me manage my own threshold. I'm not 100% sure whether it'll get any lower or whether I'll just buy fewer items. Um, the other thoughts are that when an item is in your price range is when it gets more insidious and harder to control your consumption because you have to actually think about whether it's worth your money or not. So if an item for me is like in the $100 to $200 price range and it's a really nice item, sustainably made, better quality, you know, things like that, then it becomes justifiable for my previous spending habits. Um, and, you know, for people whose budget is or acceptable threshold is in the $40 range, when something's $20 um, and you can fall into the trap of buying three or four $20 items or three or four $100 items and still kind of overspending. Um, so anyway, let me know your thoughts. I want to hear from you out there.